My name is William Braniff. I'm the Executive Director of the STAR Consortium, and I was one of the co-teachers for Innovation and Countering Violent Extremism. We allowed the students to pick uh, really any group that they wanted to work with. So we had students pick cartels in Latin America, the terrorist group Boko Haram, on Lebanon, eco-terrorism, the Pacific Northwest. And they had this huge learning curve to sort of get up to speed on the country and then try to find out how, you know, pick a community within that context to work with. The design thinking focuses on innovative and iterative processes to arrive at as many different kinds of potential solutions. The idea with countering violent extremism is that you're forming a relationship within a community and that takes a lot of empathy. This is a big part of design thinking. Uh, we invited the, the leading government officials at Department of Justice, Department of Homeland Security, the White House, and I was really happy with the way our federal partners dove in and challenged the students. And I thought the students did a very good job in response. Innovation and entrepreneurship are probably the most important part of my future career plan. Because what a lot of people don't realize, especially um, if you end up going into the government, you know, they have a very strict way of doing things and they have a very strict way of thinking as well. And this is why classes and projects like this are so important because they enable us to think outside of the box for things. And, you know, our country is just facing so many new challenges and if we don't have a way to innovate and come up with solutions that you know maybe we would not have thought of 10 15 years ago we're not going to be able to confront those challenges effectively i think this is a class for students who aren't afraid of a challenge want to make a difference and ultimately uh, this is for a student who wants to know a little bit about what it's like to to be a practitioner in the real world addressing real world problems in real time uh, and it's challenging, right? That's to stand up in front of a, a government policymakers who are dealing with this every day in a life and death kind of way and think that I've got something for you to say for the next 20 minutes and you should listen to what I have to say because I've thought about this for a semester, right? That, that's the kind of person we want in class.